I am certainly not confident that my children and grandchildren will experience the benefits of civilization that I have enjoyed. I think it's possible for our civilizations to break down catastrophically. Um, I also think that it's possible for our civilizations to break down progressively. And I think they will if we continue to have the explosion of population on the planet that we currently have. I mean, it's, it's, quite, it's quite wrong to think of our problems as mostly being CO2. If we can just solve CO2, then we can go on having this, you know, continually expanding economy everywhere in the world. Of course you can't do that, okay? I mean, there is a finite, you know, bearing capacity of our planet. On the resources of our planet. On yeah. the resources of our planet. And, and we can't continue to do that. So I think there are lots of technical reasons why um, a continually expanding economy and, and, uh, and civilization is impossible. And that therefore, um, actually, I'm as much nervous about the fact that our population is 8 billion or something uh, right now worldwide as I am about um, the fact that, you know, a few million people would be, would be killed by COVID-19. I mean, I don't want to be <laughs> callous about this, but from the big picture, it seems like that's much more of a problem. Overpopulation, people not dying is ultimately more of a problem uh, than people dying. Um, so, you know, that probably sounds incredibly callous to your, to your listeners, but I think it's simply, you know, a sober assessment of the, of the situation.